Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about how to identify, treat, and prevent lice on chickens. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So it might seem strange to learn that even chickens can become infested with lice. They eat bugs after all, but these external parasites are not the typical run of the mill chicken treat type bug. They spread fast and can cause several problems for the entire flock. Identifying an infestation and treating the flock quickly is extremely important to prevent a decline in health and in some cases, death. I wanna mention not to panic if you find lice present in your flock. It's been a battle for generations. There's always ways that identify, treat, and prevent lice in your chickens. So let's start off, what is chicken lice? Lice are considered external parasites. They feed off the host from the outside. Think like mites or fleas. Some are tiny. Poultry lice feed on chicken's dead skin, their blood, feather shaft debris, and anything else they find appetizing on a chicken. These lice have an elongated abdomen. A lice will spend its entire life cycle living on an unsuspecting chicken, usually under the feathers and near the vent. Lice enjoy a warm environment, so these types of nooks and crannies are precisely what the lice love. They spread easily from chicken to chicken, so bringing any new chickens into a flock can be dangerous if they're not quarantined and monitored before introducing them to their new feathered friends. Generally, chickens can handle a few mites here and there. Often, dust baths will stifle an infestation. As usual, chickens take pretty good care of itself and knows when a dust bath is in order. However, when they are overrun with lice, that's when the problems start. Lice multiply quickly and out of control infestation means a chicken is being fed upon by lice. Thus, the beloved chook runs the risk of becoming anemic due to blood loss. An anemic chicken has a weakened immune system and can easily contract other infections and diseases. If the condition is not treated, it can often lead to death. The burning question on everyone's mind is usually, can I get lice from my chickens? And the answer is no. Luckily, poultry lice are much different than the lice people often think of, and they're unlike the kinds kids often bring home from school. Poultry lice are entirely different, have no desire to live with humans. They prefer our feathered friends instead, mainly because their diet consists of poultry skin and feathers. Now let's talk about some of the causes of chicken lice. Chickens naturally get lice by just being around them in their environment. They can get them even from wild birds. It's not hard for a flock to become infested, and when they do, it can happen really quick. If chickens are kept in poor living conditions, the chances they get infected are higher. For example, a small, dirty coop is perfect environment for lice to multiply and live on multiple chickens. Since chickens love to roost together, moving from chicken to chicken is easy for lice. If one chicken's infested, it's safe to assume everyone in the flock should be monitored and treated. Leaving one or two untreated is usually a big mistake because the cycle has not been broken. Here are some of the symptoms. Lice are easy to recognize and with careful monitoring, any infestation can be squelched before it gets out of control. The following symptoms are good Good indicators that a flock may have a bit of a problem. If your chicken has fatigue, they're no longer their perky selves. They may seem withdrawn and sluggish. If they have patchy reddish dark pink areas and wings that look like they've been chewed on, that's a sign of infestation. Pale combs and wattles. This is when the chicken becomes anemic. It's beautiful bright red combs and wattles often become a pale pink color. Also a dirty vent. Every hen gets a bit of a dirty bottom from time to time, but if upon closer examination, the vent appears to have tiny specks of dirt around it, then perhaps Perhaps it's not just a bad day in the nesting box. Also drooping wings. Chickens let their wings drop when they aren't feeling well. If they do this on hot days. They'll allow the air to circulate around their bodies, but they, if they do this every day, it probably means they're not doing great. If they're itchy, chickens will become itchy more than usual if they are infested with lice. Or they might be doing more dust bathing because the dust soothes the itches and suffocates the lice. Also a drop in egg production. There's many reasons a chicken may have a decline in egg production, but sometimes it's lice. If you can actually see the lice, some types of lice are extremely small and others can be up to a quarter size big. They are, the larger they are, the easier they are able to see with the naked eye. Also li lice eggs on the shafts of their feathers. Small eggs will be clumped up, almost like a buildup of whitish dirt around the bottom part of the chicken's feather. This is where the lice love to lay their eggs. Now let's get into treatment. Treating lice is a lot of work, so doing it right the first time makes it much less painful. The following steps will work in most early cases of an infestation. Number one, move the chickens out of their coop. While lice love to live on the chickens, they also dwell around them between meals. Removing the chickens is the first step in taking control back from the intruders. Treat your chickens with diatomaceous earth. Make sure it's food grade. 
It's a pretty natural way to treat and prevent poultry lice and other health issues. It's pretty amazing and a must have for chicken owners. Do this by taking a 50 pound bag of play sand that can be found at a general hardware store and mix it with 12 cups of diatomaceous earth. This is perfect for a dust bath for your chickens. Also feed your chickens iron. Infested chickens will likely have lost a lot of red blood cells due to the anemia. Iron's a great way to give back what they have lost. Iron-rich treats like pumpkin seeds, peas, and spinach will be a hit amongst your chickens. Feed them protein. Protein will give a weak flock the energy they need to start a recovery process. Also, make sure to clean the coop up. Cleaning the old coop top to bottom and over again is the most important thing you can do. Returning pest-free chickens back to an infested coop will just start the cycle all over again. The coop must be cleaned thoroughly, bedding burned and corners scrubbed before you bring the back the now healthy hens and roos. And maybe just do one quick dust again. Make sure you know, you've know you gotten the eggs. There's a chance the lice laid eggs. It doesn't hurt the chickens to do this a few times over the following months just to be safe. If your flock has a severe infestation, you can use an insecticide with pyrethrin. It comes in powder, dust, or spray solutions. I am strongly against insecticide-based treatments unless it means the flock is close to collapse. Now let's talk about prevention. The first time a beloved flock can be infested with lice, it can be a scary experience and prevention should be a priority going forward. So number one, monitor your flock frequently to help catch infestations early. Quarantine your chickens. Make sure new birds are always quarantined at least 30 days before introducing them to the resident flock. If you notice that there are, is lice, don't just treat one chicken, treat the entire flock. Um, it's a safe assumption that they all have it. Dust baths. Dust baths every now and then will help prevent another outbreak. Well, that's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.